And what's up, Beatbox fam? It's KO. We just got back from the 2018 American Beatbox Champs. Shout out to Bloomer, your new American Beatbox Champ. Championships were amazing. We're going to get down to it. We're learning the best snare today. It's an inward sound. If you suffer from any beatbox illness listed here, then this tutorial is going to be amazing for you. The pest snare is either or if you enjoy this tutorial, subscribe. And as always, guys, smash that like button, baby. So, yeah, guys, there's at least two ways of doing this move. There's going to be or there's going to be one's very tight and crisp and one is kind of it's got it's got a little punch. It's got a little bass to it. So what you're going to want to do, how you're going to differentiate those two is by the tautness of your lips, right? For for the for the kind of punchy one, you're going to have your lips remain kind of how they are. You're not really going to do anything to them. Okay, so step one, right? You're going to want to put your lips over your teeth like a grandpa. Step two, suck in to build pressure against your lips as shown like this. Step three is you release the pressure built up in your lips. You feel that kind of punch. Is so that's step one. You know, it's kind of the, the punchier pe snare. So step two, there's going to be a fourth step. So then now step one is going to be make your lips taut. So like, like spread your lips thin. And then you're going to want to repeat the same steps for the, the hollow, punchier pest snare. So you're going to want to put your lips over your teeth, shout, suck in to build pressure, and then release. You see the difference? When you, when you make your lips taut versus when they're, when they're just regular. So then in a beat, we're going to use the handy-dandy metronome, guys. Remember. Always practice with the metronome. Start at 60, as always. So we're going to do B, P, inward snare. For this combo, we're going to do a kick drum, inward pass snare, and then an inward K snare. If you don't know the inward K snare, make sure to watch my tutorial on it. So, so now we're going to practice with the metronome. 60 BPM to start. You know it, guys. You know the drill. Awesome. We're going to move up. Sweet. We're going to exaggerate it again. We're going to move up a little faster. <laughs> See, I can't even I can't even do that. So I got to go down, right? But yeah, so that's the kick inward pH snare inward K snare. For breath control, it's going to give you a lot, a lot, a lot of air. So when you're doing like a fast drum and bass beat, and you run out of breath, you can go, you can make up some kind of transition into, you know, you can make up something, whatever, you know, use your creativity. You know what I mean? This is where creativity comes into play. You know, don't just watch my tutorial and be like, I got to do it exactly the same. Like, no, you know, learn the technique. And then, you know, implement it in ways that you deem fit into your beats, into your eventual style or your current style. You know, that's it for this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. I will definitely get to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you <coughs> later. Like and subscribe.